Hello, good morning everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to downgrade a bad mini Wi-Fi from 9.3.5 to 6.1.3 using SSSH. Okay, just be careful please. We are not responsible for any problems or damage that may affect your device. Please know that you are doing it on your own risk. Okay, the requirements. Of course, SSSH and your iPad should be jailbroken and laptop use, uh, running Windows and internet of course okay first step is to download I, uh, the firmware 6.1.3 from ipsw.me website okay, so now I'm selecting iPad going down iPad mini sorry iPad mini and download download 6.1 0.3 firmware this one so I already downloaded so no need to download it again now on your iPad add this source on cdrepo.firmstar.net and install Kloader from the same source and also download M terminal from Big Boss source the third step now is to download this file which is I uh, and uh, change the the, the name of it let me show you this one just rename it and ibss this is the new name so uh, click yes okay now you should collect uh, you should uh, plug your device your ipad with the laptop okay let me plug it okay and Open 3U tools, go to files, go to file system user, okay, and now take the IBSS and paste it here or remove it to there. So here is it. Now close the 3U tools, no need for this now, okay. Now download this program on your laptop which is ODSS for Windows I already downloaded it and install it ok also download this file and unzip it open it and go to ipsw.patch let me show you this one extract it here ok go to ipsw patch firmware bundles and search for 2.5 iPad 6.1.3 bundle copy it ok now go to my computer C this one Windows again Windows now paste it here paste and also paste inside this file firmware bundles also paste now go to sorry close it all now go to my files okay and take the firmware copy it go to my computer again c windows windows and paste it here okay here is okay now unplug your iPad ok now go to the desktop launch this or install open it write write this command dot ipsw dot exe space ipad 2.5 6.1.3 10 capital B 329 capital R restore IPSW space custom downgrade dot IPSW ok now while working just go to your SSH and make sure 
that the name of file shss like this style okay let me copy it down going down it's working now just go to the shss file and rename it to this style all selecting all paste I think it, it's fine okay so now enter yes copy the shss file go to my computer C okay Windows again Windows shss let me remove the old one okay put paste close it okay now go to your iPad and on M terminal you should write on your iPad M terminal uh, on, on M terminal SU return the password is Alpine of course return okay CD capital letter of M media okay K loader space IPSS enter so now it's on KDFU mode the iPad is in on KDFU mode just we should wait until this is finished we should wait and now after finishing this we have the last step to to write it on the command uh, last command to write it and then it will downgrade now plug your device your device also I as I told you it's on KDFU mode we should wait now until it's finished it's done okay now last command last command okay let me write it i device restore space 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 custom downgrade now make sure your ipad is plugged in with laptop and enter it's working now okay with my iPhone next iPhone I will show you how it's working in another video on YouTube let me show you okay this is the iPad mini it's downgrade, downgrading now to 6.1.3 using SHSH it's saying no data to read no problem just wait it will work it will work don't worry it will work
we just have to wait until it's finished It's done. It's finished. Now, I would like to show you by three U tools what's happening on my iPad. It, just we have to wait a little bit. Okay. I will download I will upload my word file on MediaFair to see it and work on it. So this is the iPad mini. Okay. Okay, I will unplug it and plug it again to showing you the iPad. It's 6.1.3 now. Okay. I will show you the real time screen. Okay. Next. Connecting to the iPad Wi Fi. Okay. Join. So first thing you should do it after activating your iPad is to dual break it just to stop the OTA downgrade from your device. Enable GPS, set as a new iPad, skip this step, skip, agree, use Siri, yes, don't send, okay, start using your iPad. Now just make and jailbreak to your device quickly jailbreak okay now it's making the jailbreak 6.1.3 and that's it We can close this easily. Okay. Follow me on Twitter and please subscribe my channel, Ahmed Ghassan. Okay. I highly recommend to make jailbreak your, to your iPad because in the future if you didn't make the jailbreak it will uh, upgrade, uh, upgrade your, iPhone, your iPad to 8.4.1 so I highly recommend to make jailbreak to stop the OTA update
please uh, follow me on Twitter and if you have any question just direct message to my account and I will be very happy to answer your question thanks for watching and